Chicago's emergency crews save countless lives each year, but they seldom get to meet the men and women whose lives they've touched. As CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli reports, today at an emotional ceremony, a handful were given the opportunity to do just that. You can't express your gratitude enough. Colors! March! Thank yous today from a life that goes on for those risking their own to save her. They're my heroes. Still got heavy fire on the second floor. It was a particularly intense overnight fire in April of last year that captured the city's attention. It was organized chaos at that time. Residents were forced to jump from third story windows this morning. Unconscious somewhere inside the fiery three flat, kindergarten teacher Keely Barr. You need to do what you were taught, crawl through smoke. Somehow, crews from truck 22 managed to find her. If you would have asked me if she was going to be alive that night, I would have said no. You see a fire, you run the other way. So for these men to see it and go in, is they're miracles. I mean, they're amazing people. Barr suffered burns on 35% of her body and was in a coma for two months. Among her first wishes, I was home for like three days and I was like, I gotta meet those guys. She managed to visit the crew at their station. Her family held thank you dinners in their honor and a unique friendship was formed. I owe my life to them and I feel like we'll always have this bond. It just feels like you did your job. There were many stories of rescues and heroism to tell today. Keeley's was just one. These are really angels on earth. The cause of that fire is still under investigation, but to Keeley Barr and the rescue crews, it doesn't really matter now. They know each other as friends, and she can even tell you the names of some of their children. Most important, Barr's road to recovery has been helped by the bond that they've all formed together. And Robin Erica, I just have to tell you, there were so many stories that we could have told just as emotional as Keeley's. That's the sacrifice that the men and women of our EMS crews and fire department make here in the city of Chicago and all over the nation. Yeah. Yes, have to applaud them every day. Yeah, how special they actually get to meet some of the people they're saving, though. What a moment that is. Vince, thank you.